Today, let's talk about the Dash Deluxe Egg Bite Maker. I primarily use this for things other than eggs, but you can do that. It, it comes with the, this little uh, silicone, these are silicone, this little silicone mold so that you can put in, uh, make an omelet, you can uh, scramble up a couple of eggs and put some cheese and some sausages or bacon bits or whatever. Then you fill the cavity up with water and you close the lid and you steam it for a certain period of time. It's all in the um, recipe guide right here. It also comes in, you know, those famous egg bites from that really famous company. So you can make your own egg bites right there. Fill it with uh, things that you like to eat. And you don't have to pay, what, $15 for them? Come on. And that's what it comes with. So how I use it is I might want some sausages, but I don't want to cook them Maybe I'm doing something uh, else. So while I'm doing that other thing, I can put the sausages in there and I can close the lid and I come back in 10 minutes or so and they will be done. So I guess what you could do is put the sausages in and pour in a scrambled egg or something um, and close the lid and cook all that up. It's your little cooker. You do whatever you like to do with it. If you shop at the big box stores and get the little pizzas, this thing actually cooks the pizzas quite well. Once again, I love the, um, the just put it in, walk away, do what you want to do. I mean, you still have to think about um, smelling and seeing if there's a burning going on because there is no timer on here. It's just hot all the time. So once you plug it in, this light comes on. I don't have it plugged in right now, but this light comes on and that means that both plates, top and bottom, will start to heat. So it does make it into a little oven and it cooks, it melts the cheese fine and the bottom gets uh, nice and crusty as well. Now I haven't tried this, but it does fit. This is a pre-cooked frozen hamburger and it fits in here. You could probably put some cheese on the top, but I'd wait until it's a little thawed. Um, like I said, I haven't tried this one yet, but the frozen, these are frozen sausages and they cook in about 10 minutes. It'll probably take you a little bit longer to cook the frozen patty because it's thicker but it's still doable. Maybe you're in a dorm or uh, I would take this to the office and cook while I'm working. And then when it's lunchtime, voila, my food is all done. I, I think it's a really handy little cooker and I'm very excited about it. So I hope that you will take a look at the description below where you'll find an affiliate link and that you will give it a try. Thank you.